Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sal with the AES Tech Support. Um, today, I just wanted to go over um, some programming tips on a Pro 2 Wi-Fi unit. Um, I have a unit here, and we're just going to zoom in a little bit so we can uh, just take a look at the, uh, the boards. Okay, we have uh, four main boards. The board in the back, the red board, is a Surge, Surge 2 board. You have the keypad on the left-hand side. Your camera is in the middle, and your Wi-Fi Pro 2 board is on right-hand side. Okay, I already have it connected. I'm using a 24-volt adapter that comes with the unit, and that is connected to my surge board. And from the surge board, you have 24 volts out that will feed the main PCB board. The most important connection on this particular unit right now is this connection right here, which is a ground. And this needs to be connected on every single unit in case of a power surge. Um, it will take out the fuses on the surge board and will protect the main main board. So every single install is very, very important that this um, surge, uh, surge board is connected to ground. Okay, I've connected my antenna and unravel the antenna wire when you're testing in your office. Um, otherwise, if uh, this is coiled up, it'll cause interference. So I've already done my... Uh, my site survey, um, I know that at the client's house, I have a 24 gigahertz, a 2.4 gigahertz um, network, uh, two megs upload speed, so I should not have any problems connecting to the unit whatsoever. So on the main blue board, we have this big button here, and that's your program button. So in order for us to start uh, programming this unit, we wanna press, we wanna press and hold this button for three to five seconds, and you'll get a tone. Okay, so right now it's generating its own network, and our next step is now to go into the phone and start programming, and we'll do that in a second. Okay, so the first thing we want to do once we uh, have that tone is go into settings of your, either your phone, your tablet, or whatever you're connecting to. Okay, and you're going to go into your Wi-Fi settings, and you're going to look for that Bell ID, and here it is. It's Bell 006. Okay, it's asking for a password. Standard password is 1 through 9. Just be careful how you type this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to click on join. Okay, and that is telling us that it's connecting to the Bell ID. Okay, so once we're connected, we have a check mark right there. Okay, we're going to come out of here and we're going to go to the uh, Pro 2 app. So we open up the app. <laughs> And we want to go to the gear settings button, which is uh, top right hand corner. And we're going to click on the plus sign, which is also on the top hand uh, right hand corner. And we're going to do a search. We're going to just click on search. And it will go out there and look for the bell ID. And there it is. Okay, we're going to select bell. And again, it's going to ask you for a password. It automatically fills in the uh, username, uh, the admin. And once again, the password here is one through nine. So that's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna click on a check mark in the upper right hand corner to confirm that. And right away it tells us Intercom One is online. What we wanna do is just to be on the safe side is click on the camera. Okay, uh, we're gonna come out of there by clicking on end. We're gonna go back into settings because there's another step that we need to do to connect to the Wi-Fi. So we're going to click on settings. Once again, we're going to click on the Wi-Fi icon. We're going to select Intercom 1, and it's going to start loading um, the networks. Once I see my network, it's right here, CB801C. It's already connected. And if it wasn't connected, you would click on it um, and just add a password, which I can do right now. And my password is 99464. Click on the check mark in the upper right-hand corner, and now we're online. So now it's it's actually connected to my network. That we're connected to the Wi-Fi. There's a few little other things that I want to check. So I'm going to go back into the app, and we're going to go back into settings. And the first thing I want to check is make sure that I have a duplex on the audio. So I'm going to click on the icon with the little speaker and the two arrows. We're going to select Intercom 1. And right now it's at half duplex, so which means I would have to press and hold the speaker button, um, the microphone button in order for me to speak. So, but I don't want that, I want full duplex. So I'm gonna select full duplex, click on a check mark in the upper right-hand corner, 
just to confirm that we're going to come out of settings and there is another settings that i want to check i want to make sure that my clock settings are correct and i am connected to cor the correct server so we're going to click on a clock icon once again we're going to select the intercom and right now everything seems to be okay um most of the times what happens is when you connect to the ntp server it'll connect to usntp.org.cn we want the last uh, server which is ntp3.alien.com i'm going to select that i have my daylight savings time is on my, my time is uh, correct i'm going to click on the check mark in the upper right hand corner we're going to back arrow into settings and we want to reboot the system in order for these changes to take place we need to reboot so the reboot the power button is the last icon on the left hand side it's the circle with a dash in the middle you're going to click on it you're going to select the intercom it'll say reboot will take one minute we're going to click on OK. And we're just going to wait for the unit to reboot. And once it reboots, it'll take those changes. And, and those are the, uh, the most important things that you want to do ahead of time so that you know you're connecting to the correct server, your time is correct. And that's important because if, if you're on a wrong server, a lot of times the system will go offline and you'll get your customer calling you and you, we would have to redo this all over again and do a reset on the unit. Okay. Okay, now that that's all set, here's our last step. We're going to go back into the Pro 2, and I want to make sure that my firmware is up to date. Uh, we're going to go back into settings by clicking on the gear in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to click on uh, the icon with the two gears, which is on the left-hand side of the screen, right below the keypad, uh, the, the icon with the notepad and the pencil. I'm going to click on the one with the two gears. We're going to select Intercom 1, and we want to make sure that configuration mode is on and reboot is on. And we want to click on check for intercom software updates. I'm going to click on that. And at the bottom of the screen, it'll tell you the status. So right now, this unit uh, has the latest uh, software version. So I have, I don't have to do anything to it. Um, if it was an older version of software, then it would tell you um, if you want to install it. You make sure you're on the same uh, network. Click on a check mark in the upper right-hand corner, and it would uh, update your software. Okay, we've pressed the call button on the unit. I'm getting a notification that somebody's calling me. And there it is. I'm going to swipe um, the phone call from left to right to answer the call. It will automatically open up the app. And at this point, um, I have a few uh, different features that I can uh, click on. I want to unlock um, the gate. So right now I have it set up to two lights. So if I click on unlock one, you'll see the lights go on. And that'll actually trigger the relay if we had gates uh, in my office. So right now they'd be opening. And click on unlock again there it is if i press and hold the unlock button it will actually latch that particular relay in the open mode okay uh, if i touch it one more time it will shut the uh, it will release that particular relay and that's pretty much all there is to it um, we're going to click on end to close out of the app now if at any point i wanted to see if anybody was at the gate i can just go and click on the uh the pro 2 app open up my camera and it would show me if anybody's at the gate. Uh, if I wanted to open it, once again, just click on unlock. That would unlock, release the relay, and the gates would open. Okay, now last step in uh, setting up this Pro 2 is uh, to put a four digit passcode um, to activate the gates. So uh, the default code is uh, four zero, so that's zero, 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 star, star, and that'll get you into programming. So here we go, it's zero, 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 star star amber light above the two goes on solid telling us that we're in um in program mode so we want to add a code and to add a code we're going to press one zero two that is telling you that we want to add a code we want to give the code a location um and we're going to start with zero 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 that'll be our first location and we're going to set a code of one two three four so it's the four digit code press on pound to confirm that and star star to come out of programming Amber light above the tool stuff flashing. So now you're in uh, standby mode. And if we want to activate the gate, we're going to press on the four digit code that we just put in. It's one, two, three, four. Green light will go on. It'll activate the gate. And we're good to go.